Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. In this video, we're going to talk about what I consider to be the best handheld for prepping ever. And it's not this one. <laughs> the best one, in my opinion, is the Yesu VX7R. This is a VX6. The VX7R has a wideband receiver from 500 kilohertz to 900 megahertz, and that's amazing. This one has it too. But the VX7R has the 6 meter band, and I'm a big fan of the 6 meter band. The American version of this one, which is the VX6, is the VX6R, and it has the 220 megahertz. This one only has VHF and UHF, 2 meters and 70 centimeters, but you can unlock it. You can probably find the VX7R for about $300. They're very hard to find and you better hurry if you see one because someone's going to snatch it really quickly. Here I removed the battery and now I'm going to uh, take off the little sticker here that uh, will show us the uh, circuit board. And if you look closely, well, at the bottom you have a series of contacts. Here you can see uh, number four starting from the left has a tiny resistor that's what we have to remove so i'm going to take my soldering iron here uh, you can see it again one two three and four and it's oops there we go and i just took it off and it flew off so now what i'm going to do is just close it up and uh, we'll test it what you have to do is to hold the three buttons on the right side here at the same time and turn the radio on you'll see that it says uh, to reset push F. So we're going to do that and uh, whoop, here's F and that's all there is to it. Why is it so good for prepping? Well the main feature is the wideband receive 500 kilohertz to about 900 megahertz and that's a lot of frequencies. We can give it a shot here for example I'm going to go to the uh, well here we go 135 megahertz and I'm going to change that to say 007 and here I am on 7 megahertz and I might even be able to find some uh, broadcast uh, AM stations here so that's the 40 meter band and here is a broadcast F uh, AM station let's go in further now you notice one thing is that it goes from 5 kilohertz to 5 kilohertz so here I am on 7265 I can only go to 7270 7275 I cannot go in between and that's one of the big downfalls of this radio now there might be a way to do it but I sure haven't found it yet so if anyone knows how please let me know it can even receive uh, the aviation band and that, of course, is in AM. I could even transmit on this band because it's unlocked, but of course I'm not going to do that. I am licensed to do so, but... Uh, it's this is not a proper aviation transceiver anyway, and I'm not even sure that it would transmit on AM. My point here, of course, is that uh, radio prepping is more about listening than transmitting, so you need a radio that can receive a wide band of frequencies. The VX6 can do this. Uh, it's a wide band receiver, although the 5 kilohertz step really bugs me. It doesn't have SSB either, it's uh, either FM or AM, but you know, that's sufficient to listen to broadcast radio stations. You can also listen to the uh, FM uh, band. So if you want to listen to some music, <laughs> you can do it. Now the reason I would have preferred a VX7R and I unlocked my VX6 is because I really wanted the uh, 6 meter band, 6 meter FM for compatibility with my military radios. 
So now the VX6 will transmit on the 6 meter band, but on a uh, with a somewhat reduced power output. What I did also is that I bought the VX7 antenna, which is for 6 meters. Uh, this way I'm not going to damage the radio by uh, trying to transmit on a band it's not uh, made for. The jury is still out as to uh, whether it's possible to damage the radio, the, uh, the filters, uh, by trying to transmit on a band it's not designed for. I'm not sure about that, but I'm not going to do it regularly anyway, it's just for emergencies if I really have to. I have my military radios for that anyway. Something you really want to get to is an adapter here for AA batteries, two AA batteries, so it's a lot less voltage, so uh, power output is reduced to about 300 milliwatts, but it's enough to listen. Now the battery of this radio supposedly lasts for a very, very long time, so we'll see about that. Don't forget to uh, get a programming cable for it because, uh, you know, although programming it is fairly simple by hand, it's, you know, it does take time. You do it with the computer and uh, it's much, much faster. I suggest using the uh, VX Commander software that you can find for free online. Excellent program. Since I will be taking this radio pretty much everywhere I go, I also got the uh, leather case for it. It's not that great, but it will serve its purpose. The radio is submersible actually for uh, 30 minutes at 3 feet, which is pretty good. We're going to test that. It has 900 memories in 24 banks that you can program. You can even add a barometric sensor for altitude, but me. It has some interesting uh, emergency features. For example, if you're a member of a group and everybody has the same radio, uh, with one VX6 you can trigger one of the others to transmit. If someone has an accident, something is unable to press the uh, PTT button, you can do that remotely for him. It will also broadcast your call sign in Morse code on your home channel if you uh, trigger the uh, emergency system. For group uh, use, it also has a, uh, an auto range transponder system. If you go out of range, uh, you can know that uh, you won't be able to make contact. Your radio tells you, hey, I'm out of range. It does scan, of course. It has a scanner. You, you can scan all your memories. Uh, you can set some frequencies to be uh, undesirable and skip them. One other very interesting feature is that uh, it has a wake-up feature where the radio will listen even if it's off and it will listen for a very brief moment every 5 to 30 seconds and turn on if there is a signal. Now, if that's not good for prepping, I don't know what is because uh, you can say to someone, hey, you know, call me today or tomorrow and you can listen for uh, their signal uh, with your radio off, basically, <laughs> without using much battery and uh, if someone calls on that frequency and speak for longer than the time you programmed, well, you're going to hear them. And it does have a battery saver as well uh, on reception, so uh, really, really good for uh, reception, receiving, uh, you know, shortwave listening, etc. When it comes out of the box, it has uh, 89 uh, shortwave memories already programmed in. Uh, I think I erased mine because <laughs> I unlocked it. Uh, it has, uh, the American version has the NOA channels, weather channels. It also has uh, 280 marine frequencies pre-programmed, and again, I think I wiped them out. But I did put them back with the uh, Chirp program, so, uh, you know, I got them back. I also put the uh, PMR frequencies in there, but of course, because it's a 5 kilohertz step, you have to go, uh, you know, kind of uh, as close as you can, and you're still a little bit off frequency. And that's a bit of a problem, but I tested it with another radio and it does actually work. I'm in the mountains again. And uh, yeah, it's a contest weekend, unfortunately. They're all over the 20 meter band and I'm, you know, probably everywhere else, except 30 meters. You know, I can't even call anywhere and uh, those guys are all over splattering the whole band. As you can tell, I'm not very uh, <laughs> a fan of contests. 
I'm actually running two radios here. I have the uh, PRC320 HF radio and the uh, PRC351 6 meter FM. It actually, it goes from 76, uh, no, 30 to 76 megahertz. Well, guys, I'm sorry about today, but there is nothing I can do. Not a single contact, really. Uh, those guys are all over the place and they are uh, trampling everyone. And uh, it's just impossible. Impossible. I could go to 30 meters and do some CW. I might try that. But uh, for the regular bands, uh, we're out of luck. I can try calling on 6 meters. I doubt I'll get anyone. But hey, it's worth a try. CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. F4, W, B, Y. Uh, over. Bonjour, ici F4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. F4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. À l'écoute. Toulon, very far. I'm going to plug in my uh, VX7R antenna and transmit on 6 meters FM. Uh, see if I can receive myself on my PRC351. Now I'll enter the frequency. We're going to go to 51.5. CQ, 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 CQ. Ici F4 Whiskey, Bravo Yankee. F4 W, B, Y, over. F4 Whisky, Bravo Yankee, F6HBI, portatif à 2000 mètres d'altitude. À toi, Gilles. Ah, bah ça fait plaisir. <rire> Bonjour. Oui, bah effectivement, bah, je suis en portatif aussi là, euh, dans les montagnes, pas très loin de Saint-Agnès. Euh, à toi. Ah, super, pour euh, 73 QRO, Saint-Agnès. Euh, voilà, bien bah, écoute, il faut qu'on s'échange nos emails et qu'on puisse euh, euh, se raconter euh, nos vies de, de crapahuteurs. Donc, euh, Fox 4 Whisky Bravo Yankee, Gilles, F6 Hôtel Bravo India Portable, la tête de Rigaud, 1900 mètres euh, d'altitude. Even in these uh, beautiful mountains, you find leftovers from the war. So, would I recommend the uh, VX6 for prepping? And the answer to that, of course, is yes. It doesn't have the best receiver ever, uh, certainly for shortwave, but it will do in a pinch. It can listen to a lot of frequencies, and that's a great advantage. Uh, the battery usage uh, is great. It's a rugged radio. I don't think it will quit on you. There has been some uh, reliability uh, issues that came up with the filtering, I think. Um, but a lot of people are happy with them and don't have any problem for many, many years. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, I'm really glad I got it, actually. Uh, and I paid for this with my own money. So if I'm re recommending it, <laughs> it's because I believe it's a good radio. It's not the cheapest. Uh, you can find a lot of good uh, Chinese radios these days for uh, much less than that, but uh, it does quite uh, a lot. So I'm glad I have it and uh, it's going to be my uh, everyday carry radio. Have a good one.